Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Paranormal Properties. In this week's episode we take a look at the Chateau de Brisiac main Eliot in France. Now this was originally built in the 11th century as a castle by the Council of Anouche. Uh, now the Chateau de Brisiac was rebuilt in, the f in 1502 by Charles II, the Duke of Brisiac, who gave it its name. So basically Charles II built it, gave it its name, christened it and obviously you see what he had, you know, visioned, and obviously it's the castle that you see before you. Now, this noble castle is the tallest in France, and it excludes old world charm, uh, but one of its past residents has shocked more than one visitor. As you see, a nice castle there, inside, turns a little bit more sinister. Now, a double murder that occurred sometime in the 15th century within the walls of the castle has resulted in one of the more popular ghosts of the Chateau de Brisiac, that of the Dame Vitre, or in uh, English terms, the Green Lady. Uh, the current residents, you know, the current Duke of Brisiac and his family, um, have become accustomed to her roaming the rooms, but she has stirred many a guest. Uh, she's often seen in the tower room of the chapel, wearing her green dress. What's most terrifying, however, is her face. If she looks at you, you'll see that her face has gaping holes where her eyes should and um, nose should be. So, pretty much, she... That's, that's actually pretty freaky, to, to be honest with you. So basically, the green lady roams the castle. She's she's often seen in you know the chapel room or the tower room. Uh, she wears a green dress and her face is so disfigured. She's got no eyes and no nose. She's just got holes where they should be, and that's pretty terrifying. If I'm that family and they've become accustomed to that, that's just absolutely just. Uh, I'd tip my hat to them because if I'm Oh, I don't know, say if you go going upstairs for a, a glass of water at night and you turn around you see a green lady in a dress with like a skeleton like face floating uh, I think I think 99% of people are going to be frightened to death uh, but if you're me then obviously you're going to try and communicate but obviously it will probably take a turn for the worse um, now she is resembling what a corpse would look like as well as her sighting, her moans are often heard throughout the castle in the early hours. So obviously, like I've just said, she roams, she roams around at night. She's you know in the castle, chapel, tower, and obviously she's probably scared more than one guest. I'm, I'm pretty sure she she definitely has revenge on her mind for who murdered her. Um, but you know, like I say, there, there was a double murder as well. Uh, which is pretty is quite sad really um, and obviously her sadness is carried you know along with her in the castle and it seems to me like she's still angry for being murdered which is understandable because obviously you don't want to be murdered do you um, and her ghost is still roaming today uh, probably with unfinished business to whoever murdered her so the green lady doesn't have a name. I don't have a name for her. If I did, then I'd, obviously I'd tell you, but I, I can't find anything on the green lady. If anyone watching this knows of anything, um, you know, information-wise, then obviously please let me know. Uh, tell me in the comments below if you have if you've found the name of the green lady. That'd be brilliant. Um, but that's all the information I have on the uh, Chateau du Brisiac in France. So, thank you very much for watching everyone, uh, I do appreciate it, I do apologise for not uploading yesterday, my house was flooded, um, but obviously now it's it's sorted, thank God. Um, but thank you very much for watching everyone, please stay tuned for more, and I do appreciate the uh, you know the views. Uh, if you're on Facebook, give us a like, if, you're, if you've come over to YouTube, or if you're on YouTube, give us a subscribe, and that would be brilliant. But thank you very much everyone for watching, stay tuned for more.